All right, this is Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson 19. We're going to continue subtracting, and only this time it looks like we're going to do a lot more borrowing, um, although in Gage, New York, we call it decomposing, so instead of the word borrowing, a lot of teachers have a lot of snarky remarks about why we shouldn't call it borrowing. So we're, that's okay, and we're going to call it decomposing because we can play the game. And, uh, and that really, that's okay, because decomposing is a better term for that anyway. Uh, the big theme this time, however, is we are really going to be using the standard algorithm rather than using those place value charts and the number disks. We're really going to be uh, practicing the standard algorithm and using the proper vocabulary as we go through it. So on this problem we have 423 centimeters minus 136 centimeters and so we're going to write that down horizontal, uh, vertically. It's right now it's horizontally and there we go and we're going to subtract and now this says we have three ones take away six ones so we don't have enough ones to take away six so we're going to go to the tens place, and we have two tens. We're going to take one of those tens and regroup it over here with the ones. So that means we get 13 ones. And so now we have 13 minus 6 right here. That gives us 7. And then we have right here, one ten, take away three tens. Well, clearly we don't have enough tens to take away three. So we're going to go next door and take one of those hundreds, leaving us with three hundreds. And that one hundred that we're borrowing is equal to ten tens. But we already have one ten sitting there. So now we have eleven tens in the tens column. And then we can do 11 minus 3. So 11 minus 3 is 8. So that gives us 8 tens. And then we have 3 hundreds minus 100. That's pretty straightforward. Gives us 2 hundreds. So the answer is 287 centimeters. All right, this one is going to prove to be a little on the tricky side because 900, man, we have so many zeros there. And students, whoo, when we get to those zeros, they start getting freaked out with those zeros. So let's do this. So we're going to look at the ones column. And it says, well, start with zero, take away eight. Well, you can't have eight and then take, or zero and take away eight. So we're going to have to borrow. We go next door. He doesn't have anything. So we're going to go all the way over to the hundreds. Now that hundred, we're going to take that nine hundreds and we're going to regroup it to eight hundreds and ten tens. Now we can go to the ten tens and we can take one of those tens, leaving us with nine, and make it ten ones. So there we go. Um, that's probably going to be worth drawing a picture of that with the number disks in a second. So let's do this. Let's finish this off first. So we have 10 ones, take away 8. That gives us 2. We have 9 tens, take away 5 tens. Gives us 4. And then we have 8 hundreds, take away nothing. Leaves us with 8 hundreds. So the answer is 842. So it's worth talking about how did we regroup that 900. Uh, so let's, let's do that. Let's take a look at that. So here's our place value chart. So here's our ones, here's our tens, here's our hundreds. And we had nine hundreds. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's our nine hundreds. So I'm going to write nine, zero, zero. And the idea was, what we did was we took one of those hundreds and we regrouped him next door as ten tens. So I'm going to do that in red. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what did that do? That means we went from nine hundreds to just eight, and we went from zero tens to ten 
tens. So now we have eight hundreds, ten tens, and zero ones. And then what did we do? Well, then we took one of those tens and we regrouped him into ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And of course we're going to get ten ones. So what, did, what happened there? We went from having ten tens to only nine tens. And we went from having zero ones to ten ones. And that's how you'll notice up here we ended up with eight, nine, ten. And down here we ended up with the exact same thing. Eight, nine, and ten. So that's a pretty tricky borrowing problem. Uh, but it's really doable for our third graders. Now, there is a kind of a cool trick that we could show, and it's, it wouldn't hurt to show them. We could take that 900, and we're going to subtract, what are we supposed to subtract out? Uh, 58. So we could take that 958 minus the 58, and we could change the problem. Let's change this to 899 plus an extra 1 over here. And, and now we can subtract, and we don't have to worry about borrowing at all. Um, we've got 9 minus 8, that gives us 1. We have 9 minus 5, that gives us uh, 4. And then we have 8 minus nothing, that gives us 8, so that's 841. But don't forget, we need to add in the 1 that we temporarily hid, so the answer is 842. So we could have done it that way. And for a lot of students, that's a whole lot easier. But the purpose of this video is we also really, really want students to be learning that standard algorithm. And the last slide for this video, uh, we have the total weight of a giraffe and her calf is 904 kilograms. How much does the calf weigh? And we're specifically being asked to use a tape diagram. And there is absolutely no magic way to draw this. All right. Now, we are told that we have two subjects. We're told that we have a giraffe and her calf. I didn't know a baby giraffe was called a calf. That's kind of cool. All right, so we know that and we're going to draw. We always start with drawing their two bars to be basically the same. You just, it's okay if it ends up not being the same, but we, we always start with their subjects over here, and you start with the bars being identical. And now you read the question again, and we modify the bar as needed. So it says the total weight of the giraffe and her calf is 904 kilograms. So that means the total weight is 904 kilograms. So we're going to do that right here. And then we're told that the giraffe is 829 kilograms. So we're going to put 829 kilograms right here. And we're told that because it says so right here. All right. And then it says how much does the calf weigh, which means we don't know this piece right here. So that's our question mark. Now some students are going to say, well, it's obvious that the bars shouldn't be the same length because 829 is really close to 904. So that means the, the calf, the bar for the calf should be really short. Hey, if any student wants to say that, that's awesome, awesome number sense. And let them talk it through and just estimate and say, oh, okay, never mind. Let's cross off this part and we'll change our, our question mark to right here. And that's cool, too. I mean, roll with it. Uh, technically, mathematically speaking, the bars don't have to be, um, they don't have to be proportional. They can, they, they can be um, out of proportion. And mathematically speaking, we don't care. We'll still get the right answer. Now the question is, what do we do to get this missing value here? The total is 904. We know the giraffe is part of it. It's 829 kilograms. So we're going to use subtraction to figure out that calf. So it's going to be 904 minus 829. 
and really these are kilograms. So let's subtract. So you've got 4 minus 9. Oh, we need to borrow or regroup or decompose. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go all the way because there's nothing in the tens column. So we're going to have to go all the way to the nine, the hundreds column and regroup. And we're going to take one of those hundreds, leaving us with eight. And then we are going to take that hundred and turn it into ten tens. And now we're going to take one of those tens, leaving us with nine, and turn it into ten ones, but we already have four, so now we're going to have fourteen ones. And now we could do fourteen ones minus nine. Gives us five. And now we have nine tens take away two tens. Gives us seven. And then we have eight hundreds take away eight hundreds. Leaves us with nothing right here, so I don't need to put anything in that column. And so we, our final answer is 75 kilograms. So that calf weighs 75 kilograms. And that is Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson 19, Decomposing While Subtracting, and really we're using that standard algorithm.